Is Camp Cannon becoming a reptile Disneyland? Well, a project like this is so vast in scope. But if we can bring together the technical know-how of American industry, I'm confident we can create right here a showcase to the world. And we can build a community that more people will talk about and come to look at than any other area in the world. Will I be taking my breakfast pond side for the rest of my life? Rupert. Please, the cork on the quick. To prevent him hurting himself and others. Will Black Panther win Best Picture at this year's Academy Awards? Hmm. All I know is I will be in Wakanda forever. Oh, okay. You don't talk about Black Panther, right? Yeah, yeah. That was hella tough. It was, man, right? In the crazy house. Yeah, the best movie of 2018. Wakanda forever. Oh, no, no. <laughs> forever and how about this question how do I help a malnourished lizard get the weight back the answer coming right up you got questions we've got answers just ask Ken Good morning everybody, I'm up with the sun Gotta get to work and get a lot done I'm not singing well because I'm nuts, yeah It's time for me to give you another answer That didn't run, that's okay though Kate's the singer, I'm the knucklehead What's going on everybody, Ken in here I'm in a great mood um, I'm starting to clean, okay The place is starting to come back to normal Weather's good, getting warmer Only a couple more weeks left of this miserable winter we've had I'm joking, of course. Um, as you can see, we did blow up the backyard. I'm going to get that fixed, too. But today's Ask Camp Cannon question is about lizards. And it comes from our Patreon supporter and my pal, Rainy Parker. She's always joining us on those Patreon lives. Why aren't you guys joining us? you got to get in on this, man. It's a live chat where it's just me and a few of you, and I'm answering questions. So uh, basically, folks, uh, we're going to go in here. I don't have any bearded dragons. Now, her question was this. She just received a malnourished bearded dragon dragon and she wants to know what's the best way to get that animal's weight back up so that it is healthy and happy and uh, doing its thing so I don't know let's uh, let's look at this buddy right here he was out last night it was a little cool he's gonna have to lay in the sun and get himself going of course this is Petro my rhino iguana and first things first you need to know what does a malnourished lizard look like? How do I know when the lizard is not in the proper weight? Well, number one, you're going to notice that a malnourished lizard, you're going to be able to see his hip bones really, really pronounced. Um, lizards store a lot of healthy fat at the base of their tail. So you want these hip bones to just be barely visible. You want a nice thick base of the tail because that is a healthy animal. Also, they're not sunken in and anywhere. You'll see this is a fatty deposit. Um, fatty deposits here uh, the heads will go ahead and get really sunken in uh, and that's a problem so you don't want to do that you want to look for that if that's happening then you may have a malnourished lizard or like Rainy explains it was given to her and it was clearly malnourished now we know that reptiles have very um, very specific needs when it comes to diet and lighting and vitamins and so on so it's very important when you take on the responsibility of keeping one of these animals that you make sure you're getting all those things dialed in now I've seen uh, animals that are obese in captivity that's another problem but we'll save that for another video uh, what I'd like to talk about in this one as we visit some of the lizards is basically how do you get that animal back on track now in some cases some malnourished reptiles are going to be difficult to feed they may not take food on their own if they're too weak and that's going to be difficult if you have an animal like pinky the water monitor down in here uh, that eats of course meat if they're a carnivore how do you feed a carnivore how do you make sure that it's getting the proper protein that it needs well there are products on the market that vets use that you are able to purchase and of course you should always go to a vet if you have an animal that requires tube feeding if you ha have no experience how to do that now with tube feeding you're gonna have to manually pump 
food down the animal's throat. And if you have an animal like a monitor lizard that is a carnivore, they sell critical care for carnivores. It's actually a paste that has all the nutrients that a carnivore should have. And so you, if this animal's too weak to eat, you're going to be pumping it down, uh, you know, down its throat. But again, very, very important. You only do that if you have uh, some kind of experience with it or if you are with a vet or a vet technician, somebody that has done it before. Because if you are um, not versed in that, you could accidentally put it into their trachea and that could be a problem. You could actually choke the animal. We don't want the animal to choke on its food. So, oh, are you going to whip me, yeah, little lady? You're not going to whip me. No, you are not. Oh, there's a little Pinky. She's so tough. She's such a tough girl. Yes, you are. I know, Pinky. Pinky, what are you doing? Pinky, Pinky, where are you going? Go up climb. Go get in the sun, Pinks. There you go, you little angel. I'm in such a good mood, guys. Love answering questions for you. Hey, she's not in a good mood. Watch. No, don't go in the water. It's chilly. Oh, there she goes. All right. Anyway, so Pinky's up. Maybe I woke her up and she's not happy about that. I don't think she had a chance to do her makeup. And, uh, you know, if you're not looking your best, you don't feel your best. However, I like to go on natural, beard, bald, and hat. It's a good time. Okay, anyway, uh, back to the question at hand. How can we help Rainy? Um, well, Rainy, what I would suggest, if the animal's eating, you make sure that you're feeding it the, the widest variety of food that that animal can eat. Now, bearded dragons are an animal that are an omnivore. So what I would do is make sure that you're feeding it some very nutrient-rich foods like collard greens, escarole, um, yellow squash. You can shred that up. Now, you can also, if you want to put weight on, get baby food. Baby food's interesting because baby food has a lot of nutrients in it and it's going to be easy for that animal to digest since it's in a weakened state. Um, it's also going to be pretty much uh, almost masticated. You know, that's when you chew something and they then spit it into the female, into the baby's mouth. Um, like birds do that or, no, birds regurgitate, but there are other mammals that will chew food and then put it into the mouth of the baby so it helps them digest. Similar thought process here because if the food's already kind of minced up into something of a smoothie uh, or baby food consistency, it's going to be easier for that animal to digest because it doesn't have to break it down. The, the enzymes don't have to break it down as much. It's already pretty much done that way. Now, we know reptiles have really strong digestive juices. They're slinky. And they have those those digestive juices that can really break down the food to extract the nutrients from it uh, and bone and sinew, all that stuff gets broken down and used by the animal. So make sure that your little um, bearded dragon is definitely getting enough calcium and I would throw in a multivitamin as well. Zoomed makes great products for this. I would definitely check out their Herptivite. Those are, those are things that are definitely going to help uh, get that animal back. So baby food, um, you know, mix it in with some whole food. Of course, dusting the crickets and mealworms. I wouldn't give too many mealworms because of the chitin on the exoskeleton. And at this point, if the animal's in a weakened state, it's going to need, uh, like I said, a little bit more help with the digestion. So, um, you know, definitely do that. Now, as far as feeding frequency, uh, since the animal's malnourished, I would offer it food once a day, but don't overdo it. Give it just a little bit of food. If the animal's eating, that's fantastic. When the animal's eating like that, um, you know, you don't want to shock the system by overdoing it with food because if you do that, it'll then uh, lead to some other problems. The animal may not digest all of the food um, because these digestive systems, and if we're talking about tortoises, which we are not, but uh, tortoises, when they go into starvation mode, there's no food at all in their digestive tract. And so the digestive tract actually loses some of the gut flora um, and fauna, uh, uh, you know, the, basically the stuff that uh, the enzymes or bacteria, um, there's a whole micro universe in there and they actually, those things, hey, look who's coming out. Come on, Lola. Come on, you're a lizard. We need you. We want to show you off. Come on. Oh, hello. Good morning, young lady. So good to see you. I love when I can do these videos and kind of get work done at the same time. Yes, it's good to see you too. Yes. Hello. 
She's waving at you all, folks. Say hello back. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Lola's coming out. But, um, you know, when we don't give these animals uh, or we overpower them with too much food, they may not be able to break it down and it could also lead to impaction. So, a little bit of food every day. Let them eat. Time is your friend. If that animal's eating, if it's kept warm, we we know bearded dragons love like 110 to 120 degree basking spots. You want to make sure that that metabolism is going, so it aids in the digestion. So it's the proper food. Feed a little bit every day. Once that animal gains weight back, you start you start to see thickness at the base of the tail. The hips are gone. The eyes are alert. Um, that animal is now moving around throughout the different uh, uh, um, microclimates in its habitat. In other words, moving in and out of basking areas um, and otherwise just behaving like a lizard. That's when you know the animal's ready to go to a different feed schedule so that you don't, you know, kind of make it overweight. I like to feed reptiles like this three times a week. They get to eat Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, these guys are very healthy. I'm going to pull her out so you can kind of see. And that, a three-day schedule. Look at how fat and happy she is. Okay, we want to keep good weight on these animals because if they do breed, they do decide to breed. Look at that base of that tail. Nice and thick. Um, you know, the Missouri tortoise diet works really well with the cyclora iguanas. Um, so that's, it's something that you don't have to overdo. You just feed a few pellets a day and that stuff goes a long way it's so nutrient rich that's why people run into problems in captivity with obesity in their animals guapo are you coming out oh hi guaps how you doing handsome guy look at that beauty right there guapo and lola so anyhow folks that's um what i would suggest you do rainy um i hope this video has helped you i hope it's helped some other folks out there again if you have an animal that is in extreme need seek out a qualified reptile veterinarian so that they can teach you how to do tube feeding, send you home with the proper tools, get that critical care. They make it for omnivores, they make it for carnivores, and they make it for herbivores. I've used it on tortoises and lizards. Uh, it's good stuff. And then once the animal has its strength back, you then go to the whole foods and you get it going. And don't forget the baby food. That helps out too. You can also soak a malnourished lizard in clear Gatorade, believe it or not. It has electrolytes and stuff like that. If they drink a little bit of it, that's also something that has helped uh, some of my tortoises and lizards if they were super, super weak. All right, so there you have it, everybody. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Head on over to patreon.com slash Cam Kennan if you guys want to help us out with these videos and get your question answered uh, right here on the channel. Thanks so much, and I'll see you all again real soon. So long.